Hey you guys, so back to Remy and Winnie. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got um, from the store. And then we, I'm just going to introduce my guinea pigs. A t a, and we're going to, sorry, not introduce them because I already did that. We're going to be doing health checks and just going over essential items you have to give to your guinea pigs. Like stuff that they like need. And I'm just going to be talking through like... When you first get your guinea pigs, what are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to set up the cage? What cage size? For my guinea pigs, I have a little bit of a tinier cage than needed, than I, than supposed to be. Um, so I have, I think, pretty sure I have a three by four or five for two male guinea pigs. I am going to give an upgrade in the future because I know it's not that good for male guinea pigs I would at least give them a four by six or a three by six or probably the minimum is probably my size right now mine's a little bit below that a little tiny bit like one percent like whatever like like a little bit a little bit before minimum but I think that they're okay with it because I give them floor time every day and just you know really pay attention to them if you actually give them that then the cage is fine so let's first go over um what I got alrighty so I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I got okay hold on let me first get on my mic All right, so I got this bath. I got this bath mat. Um, so this could act as like sort of like a huge pee pad. Um, <laughs> I'm joking, Ready? Okay, so basically, it's like a whole. Is a whole pee. It's basically a big pee pad, and it has like these cute little teacups. I thought it was pretty cute. Um, and then it's very, it's washable. It has this, it's has this th huge and thick layer. It's like super thick. It has this thick layer of um, like a big pad, a washable pad underneath. And this is honestly really, really furry. It doesn't really look like that, but it's like super fuzzy. So I got that, and then I got these. This pee pad. Uh, usually, what you have to do with pee pads is you could put it under your houses, put it in your houses, put it on top of your houses, act like a, a swoopy hide. But I use them for I pick spots where I see them mostly pee and poo, and I put that on top of their like see right here you might not be able to see but it's right here i see them poo here a lot there's a bunch of poos so i could easily take that poo pad pee pad and then just brush it off into the trash can and then instead of changing the whole thing the whole cage i could easily just whoop whoop so i got two of these it's like nice and cozy too that's like these fun colors Like this is like a pee pad, but this is like super thin. Um, but I do like to put this on top, just act this more cozy than this, but this is more absorbent. Again, this is washable. Also, this is probably almost my favorite thing. It's super fuzzy. Um, so let me just. Okay, so, again, I mean, it's, this is probably a little bit smaller than my size of my cage, but definitely way smaller, but I thought that this could be good. It's even, even has a thicker, um, it even has a thicker piece than the teacup one, 
but this is super fuzzy and it's just so cozy and I like how it's like I wish there's a different color but this is the only color I could find available so it smells really good too but it smells like like flowers and like the forest so anyway this is a super I would recommend it has like three layers of absorbent so that's really good I usually like to put that fleece and then just like put that towel and like a little different fleece pads or pee pads on top so that is what I got alrighty next we're going to be doing some health checks my guinea pigs they do not like health checks especially Winnie he is not a fan of health checks at all same with Remy but uh, just got has to be done. I do this. I constantly every day, constantly every day, um, look at them like how they sleep, how they move, how they eat, what they are eating, check their poos, see if they're mushy or not. So I constantly every day basically do like the tiniest bit of health checks. But I usually do the a huge health check, like almost like every other week um so yeah what i usually i do not have much at all this week because i already did a huge one last like a uh, last week but i just wanted to you know i did a huge one last week everything i did even took them for a bath i knew that they're self-cleanable but i got them from like a, sort of like a pet shop which was a pretty bad decision i would give them for a breeder rescue <sighs> but i got them from a, like an animal pet rescue pet shop so it's like in the middle so that's where i got them from and i was just like i think i should take them for a bath because they've been like with other piggies like all smushed together and it's just like what they've been feeding them and they've been in a lot of poo so i just wanted to you know make things super fresh and then do it so yeah, uh, just to be clear, I use this for shampoo. Everyone should use this, it's the brand Davis. It's the best shampoo you could ever afford and get. It's actually the cheapest. It's about around like 12 to $15. All the other ones are like 30 to 20. And it's surprisingly, those are the cheapest. Um, so real quick i'm just gonna check their weights and just do like a quick check i already did their ears the other time and all that so i'm just gonna do their weight um so yeah it's not basically not even a health check um let me grab them So Winnie's actually in here eating his orange pepper. So I think I'm just going to easily grab him. Come here, Winnie. Hi. And I'm going to be doing the hardest first. Come here, buddy. It's okay. Hi. Come here. He knows what we're doing. He knows exactly what we're doing, of course. Come here. This is not going to be as bad as last week. Don't worry. Hold on. It turns out my weight is actually low battery. I did not get to check his weight, but... No. No. It's alright. Okay. Well, let me put him back real fast. Hold on. One second. Alright, so... Our next topic I really wanted to discuss. Um, a lot of my friends have guinea pigs. They've always been asking me, what are some essential stuff? What do I need to get them every week? All of that things. Um, so let me just discuss that. So first of all, I would like some essential. 
like for them to actually like you know live um so i'm just gonna go over some things i'm gonna bring you to the cage so we can discuss that all right so i'm just gonna be hold on i forgot to put back oh why did i put the weight i must have thought that that was the bee bed oh my gosh okay hold on all right so um first of all you should guys can you guys see this so i've a so there's a water bottle you guys need to have fresh water i would um refill it with like fresh water like two times a week so there's like a fresh water like that's super important hey hey they ha I need to have unlimited water. It shouldn't be like a scheduled time. Um, they need to have unlimited water. It will be reachable every single time. Hey, what you doing? Um, next. Hey. Hay is like the most important. Um, hay is what they mostly eat every single day. It's probably 80% of their diet. They eat it every single day. Like you guys have to like, are never gonna, you guys are never gonna walk in on them and see them not eating hay. You guys might walk in and see them sleeping, but you guys are never in your whole life never not going to be seeing them eating hay like look see they like to burrow in it they love to play in it they love to do all that fun stuff i always like to like fluff it up so they could really burrow and have fun and jump around in it um hay is super important there's a bunch of options you could pick from for hay um, like Timothy hay, meadow hay, orchard grass hay, bonicle, I think it's called, bonicle hay, all that fun stuff. Um, next, toys. Um, you guys might think this is not essential, but it is. Um, your guinea pigs will, like, become lazy pigs if you guys do not have toys. I do not have much right now. Um, my other ones got, like, all pooped and peed on. They were just disgusting, like... This one's starting, you. This one's starting to get super, super duper moldy. But it's, I mean, it's a really good toy. They really, really do love this cupcake toy. Um, I do not like how this is like dyed. These like pet dyed, but. I'm not sure that's okay, but they do like to chew on that. And then I have the, it's supposed to be a tunnel, but they cannot fit it anymore, so I sort of use it as like a wood chew. It's also sort of like a ramp, like you could like use like a ramp to get into their hay bin, all that fun stuff. You not guys need to have something to for them to chew on. Um, also, Let's go back to hay. Hay should not be like on the wall with like tiny holes for hay racks. It should be like open, big holes. I definitely recommend to get hay bin so you could burrow, have fun, like jump in. Um, it should not be like far up where they have to try and work for their hay. It has to be, they have to almost have unlimited hay. Basically, they're having unlimited hay every single day. Um... So, yeah, that's about hay. Now, hideouts. I have one, two, three hideouts. This is honestly kind of four. I just touched P. Ugh, he peed right there. All right, we're going to have to wash that out soon. Um, anyway, hideouts, I have three, almost four. Um, so... I like to use cuddle sacks so they could really, I like to have at least one where they could really sleep in. One that they could, actually like two that they could really sleep in. This is sort of like a nappy, sort of, this is like a really like sleepable, comfy one. 
but over here it's just like a fuzzy forest um it's just for somewhere like a rest or like just hide in they usually like to play tag i just like could picture them yelling you're it all that fun stuff because i saw winnie run to remy like jumped onto him then remy started chasing after winnie i just like had the feeling that they were actually playing tag so i thought that that was super fun hey hi having fun giving a little rest I do give them some snuggle time that would really help with your bonding with them. So these are some really big essential items and last thing, pellets. Um, I, I will upgrade to the Timothy Hay pellets, but I have the essential young guinea pig pellets. I, like, I would love to get the garden select. I say that that's like the best option. I have the essential oxbow ones, but this is honestly a really good option too. I would also get not a plastic one like me. I would get um oh my gosh, I'm trying to think of a word that I know it describes like it's sort of like a heavy bowl that would they won't knock down. It's like about this size too. That's really good. Now, cage size. Mine's a little small. Mine's pretty small. Um, I'm going to be getting upgrade. Mine's like 3x5 or 3x4. Actually, probably like 12-inch 12, 12 grids with like 2x4. Or two, probably 2x5. Two one, about one. One, two, three four probably five and then like one two th okay probably three by five i mean that's not like bad bad probably like the, oh, a little higher than minimum size um i'm gonna be getting an upgrade soon but yeah that's about the essential items you should have and then the other one and also probably like i w it's okay to have paper bedding but uh just like a thing here Paper bedding, you have to switch out every single day because they do want to be sitting in their poo, sitting in their pee every day. More disposable, you have to really throw away everything, like even more messier. Um, number three, you have to buy more because you're throwing it away. Then you have to buy more and buy more and buy more. Other than fleece, you could wash it could reuse it you could only buy like five and you reuse it through your whole life and it never gets ruined fleece is like just like that and also liner and pee pads all that stuff sometimes pee pads can get a little eh, out of hand but it's really really good too hi hey running away from me huh so yeah oh those are the essential items hey winnie Winnie, boop, hi, come here, come here, hey, are you running, you enjoying some hay, yeah, hi, oh. alrighty, so I have mine on a table, and also I do have a ton of different hides and here I have a hammock, a bunch of these soda beds. I have three more cuddle sacks, a few of those, another B one I think. So I thought we could do like a whole cage clean even though it's like there's only like a few poops, but like it's starting to get a little out of hand I feel like. So I thought we could do like a live, a live cage clean. So let's do this. I'm gonna put you guys right up here. Ugh. And you guys, should I keep them in here? I've never kept them in here during a deep clean. Like never. I've never kept the piggies in here while I'm doing a deep clean. I think I will this time. But, me thinking. Yeah, I guess I'll do it this time. Let's do it, let's do it. All right. So I'm first going to shake out all this. Ah, poo just flung at me. Hold on. Alrighty, here we go. 
Go. Ugh. Another poo. This is where all the poo is in their hidey houses. Is anyone in here? No. Okay. Perfect. Just like that. As you can see, look, a bunch of their poos on here. You could easily just throw this away. Super easy. But I'm just gonna dump it right here real fast. Ugh, I'm doing some on the bottom up here. Let me just take all this. Hold on. And then let me just throw all this hay away. Perfect. There we go. And then I think. Yeah, I'm going to be cleaning out their hay bin, too. Alrighty. Ugh. Filthiness. This is a cute little comfy little mat. You can also flip this over by, like, the blue fuzzy little side. Would you? Cupcake toy. I love the cupcake toy. That's a pretty popular one, I feel like. Alrighty. Let's get these guys out. Just brush all these off. Excuse me. Can you guys go to the other side, please? Please go to the other side. Yes, thank you. Like, where's all of our stuff going, Missy? Okay, this is honestly pretty bad right here. Alrighty. Hi. Hold on. Just gotta sweep. Excuse me. Here. Oh, yeah, I do have a table that. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, I do have a table. I do not really like to. Go on, it's okay. It's okay to be on the table. I know you guys aren't used to it. Just hold on. I just need to clean this and then you guys can. Donut, donut, worry. Alrighty, let me just grab my brush. They're like, what is going on to our home? Help, monsters are invading. It's okay, you guys. I just hear their little feet clicking on hear their nails like hey you poo pile see this is where they always go poo in this little corner right here <sighs> I cleaned the cage this morning and it's like at like, I cleaned the cage at like nine o'clock and it's like 7 p.m. right now. So it's been about like a lot of hours, but it's still nice, it's still fine. I'm just gonna do a quick spray of my water and vinegar. Do, do not worry, it is not Myers Clean Day. It's not peppermint oil. It is vinegar. Right. Oh, no. Excuse me. <gasps> they had to pee. Y'all, they had to pee. Seriously? No. Ew. Please, back away. No, I need to pick that up. Move, please. Thank you. Stop peeing. There's Winnie, I think Winnie peed right there. Alrighty, there we go. Now it's all fresh. Alrighty, let me just set down my, I don't know, should I go with the nice like rug? I think I'm gonna go for like a green theme today. <gasps> I do have a bunch of green stuff. This could work. Come on, guys. Come on. Get on top of here. 
Get on top of the towel. Come on. I think I'm gonna go with like a whole green theme today. Get on. Now, now they're like, oh, I'm not used to this towel anymore. I'm just used to the table. Now I can barely even hear their little feet clatter onto the table here. Perfect, a green theme. Now I also do have this huge pee pad. Hold on. Sorry, the camera just switched, but move. I think I'm gonna plop it like right here. Oh, excuse me, piggies. Coming through. No, what are you doing, Winnie? No, please go to that side, not this side. I do not want you guys to come to this side real right now. I guess I could move this. Go, there we go. Now let me just tuck this in. I also could have like this go out. Cause there's like the tiniest bit of a crack. Right here. Hold on. You guys, I think I'm like in love with this. This is so comfortable. Ugh. Perfect, finally. And now I can put that. Hold on, this might take a little bit because I'm just I'm going to push these under. Alrighty, that's Winnie. Sorry, that was Remy. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so mixed up. I think it's gonna be a green and blue theme today. So, I do have an idea. An idea. Actually, place this right here. Just can go in and enjoy that. Ready? I do have green stuff. Bow, 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 bow. Alrighty. Hey. Keep that right there. I do have this green house. See? We could use that. Yeah, I think that could go right there. And then, I do have this tunnel slash hidey house that could act as like right here, but I feel like that's like, I want this time to be like a little bit more open stuff, but at the same time like not. This house I think could be good. There we go. They haven't had this since like, my since used my cage used to be on the floor. They haven't had seen this house in like so long. I'm just gonna add like a pee pad under here, so it's not really gonna match the green vibe. But actually, I'm gonna put sorta like this theme themed thing right here, maybe. You guys, I need that to be right there to make a little room for you guys could you guys could do some zooms, okay? Keep the house right there. They really do love this house, so I'm happy to have that back. All right, and I think that that's honestly the cage. I think that they love it, actually. Oh, Winnie, hey. Oh yeah, I'm actually gonna add a pee pad, but. Ooh, I do, oh no, I thought that was a green. Why am I colorblind? I thought that this was green. I'm just gonna add that right here. There we go. Perfect. 
So now I added, my goal was to have something that I bought today, to have it in the cage, so that's nice. They sort of tore, literally tore this. They literally tore this house down. Like, I used to have this like that, but I had no clue why. But now it acts as a cute little house. So. No, Winnie, no, we're not doing that, we're not. I sort of want to like hide this real fast, see, I sort of hide this so that they won't go behind it, if you know what I'm saying. Perfect. Oh, are you okay? Are you okay? I literally saw that. Are you okay? I'm just going to add some hay actually to their haven though. There we go, that's better. And then, oh my gosh, I'm missing the, hold on, I'm actually gonna plop that right here. So I can, oh. Why is this thing so full of stuff? I think, I'm not going to use the hay bin, and I'm going to, I used to do this, I used to fill a, are you, why do they keep on doing that, I'm like so sad that they're doing that, but I used to fill a cuddle sack with hay, and I kind of want to do that now. Pretty nice. Okay, that looks good. This is like a really nice cage now. So it has, they have everything. Maybe I should like put that right here. There we go. That's better, I feel like. Now they have more room to do. And they could even go on top of there as Winnie's demonst oh, he will use he was demonstrating. As you can see they do tear that down. Okay. So I am going to be checking back on them. Uh we'll be checking back on them to give them the ready. So I'll see you guys then. And I actually just wanted to give them some treats, so I just like to open up this. This sound I always do that so they know when treats are coming. Hey, Remy. Come here, Remy. Hey, no, this is Winnie's. Winnie. Come on. Come here. Yum. Yep, that's yummy. Whenever Remy gets it, he just sits as close as he can where the treat is. And then Winnie just goes and hides because he thinks I'm going to take it. I once had to take it because, um... Wait, when did I have to take it? Wait, I, I'm just making things up now. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys when it's veggie time.